Hello everyone, I'm Woko and welcome to Wokolandia. This project was a real long journey, but the idea to combine my custom toys experience with some kit bash miniature stuff was something awesome. Some time ago I found this Minotaur or demonic figure in a second hand shop and I thought was a good deal for one box because he looked like a demon prince from Warhammer and like you see he's basically a scale version of a normal demon prince a little bit taller but the overall bone structure it's the same and immediately jumped in my mind this spare part from my previous project. And this is the perfect occasion for build three Demon Prince from a single kit. <laughs> Obviously there is a lot of stuff to do, but the final result is something super cool, really. And also starting from the head, like you see, is too little for this big body. I need to start looking for new bits for customize and kit bash this big guy. This head was from a custom dreadnought I picked up some time ago and the original set I thought was a defiler or something like that, it's possible, let me know in the comment. And the first part I decided to customize or kit bash or whatever was the sword, the demonic sword and despite I try to change completely the arms the original arm was of the right size and because of that I decided to remove the sword and attach the sword on the original arm this process is quite simple. You need only to carefully cut the sword off and smooth the edges. Also in this way you have an extra arm, obviously without weapon, but still a pieces from a new kit bash or custom and it have a lot of detail then don't throw away stuff like that. And after clean this piece, put this part aside and keep working on the original project. Like I said, these words need to be attached on the original art. But before do that, I need to create a strong base for glue this word on. And for this purpose, I stretch the hand and I glue inside this uh, toothpick. In this way I create a fist way stronger than a hollow hand. Also because I decide to use the left arm instead to use the normal right arm like in the original Demon Prince figure, I need to cut off the hand and in this way I'm able to repose the entire arm after glue the sword on the fist. And because the sword handle was very tiny, or create a strong bond between sword, fist and handle, I drill a hole on those three part and use a piece of steel wire for connect these three piece together. In this way the bond is stronger and I have more surface for glue those pieces.
as you see I use the spinning technique for connect the hand with the heart and after that glue those two parts together and after this step we start with the main body first I remove all the mold line and after that I glue the torso with the lower part of the body a part of me starts screaming don't glue the joint but this is not a toys is a Warhammer miniature or a proxy actually <laughs> so he has to stand still <laughs> and that really helped me to blend and smooth the part together but now it's time to finally glue the head in position and start to imagine this story behind this big guy he is a huge demon prince bigger than a normal one and he probably descend from an already big and massive race like uh, an ogre maybe and like an ogre is not so smart he followed the bidding of his master maybe another demon prince or the guy who um, summoned this big monster but he is not brainless he have some idea in mind like skull for the skulltron and probably it's something he keeps saying in his mind <laughs> and because of that is the perfect occasion for use probably one of the most useful kit games workshop ever designed <laughs> Here you can find infinite skull for your miniature. Really, it's something awesome. It's an awesome idea and for me that I usually rely on luck for find the right piece for my custom toys. Have a kit like that. It's like dreaming, really. <laughs> I spend hour looking around on a second hand shop or searching in a dirty toys bag for find the right beats <laughs> and maybe you normally keep bash and paint miniature and this stuff is completely normal but he isn't really <laughs> and here I decide to pick up a skull for every single race Xenos race that this big guy decide to have a souvenir <laughs> some of this peak will be an actual skull and some other will be like in this case an armor trim basically a skull sculpt in the armor in this way I mix and change the shape of this plate making this armor more demonic and evil and like you see I use my scolding tool for make room for the new skull on this armor and on the other side this figure have already a bunch of skull around his belt and they are all human obviously and because of that I decide to pick up other Xenos skull to add on his collection and mix those with this skull already print on the belt creating a real carpet of skull <laughs> for do that I remove the back part of the skull creating a flat surface in this way I can make fit the skull between the other one already printed covering the hollow spot on the belt creating a real rug of skull <laughs> then this guy is probably big and stupid but he have a real passion for maintain his skull in a pristine condition <laughs> and probably every time he sit down he carefully move his belt for not ruin the skull <laughs> then 
blood for the blood god and skull for the skull throne, but with style. <laughs> And now it's time for the spine, like you see previously I removed the strange fur or horn on his spine and now because the interior is hollow I fill this figure with foil. And after that I start place some skull for create some new trim for this armor like a spine made of skull and I use the same technique I use for the belt this process is long and you need to be precise but the final result is stunning really also I have the opportunity to use a lot of skull and I love it <laughs> after place all the skull I start fill the gap with super glue and after that with my sculpting tool I start to spread the glue for cover all the little tiny gap and now it's time for the other arm the first part I wanna change was the shoulder I have this last piece from my last Demon Prince video that I wanna include in this custom and he fits perfectly like a trim on this shoulder a cool heavy spiky trim but first I need to remove this pin and after that I need to clean the surface of this shoulder for make this other piece fit on After finish the shoulder, it's time to think about what this guy have on his right hand. And after try to use the other sword from the Demon Prince kit, I decide for something little for not cover the entire figure. And this big battle axe from this Chaos Knight is perfect for the occasion. Obviously for this little guy is very massive, but for this demon prince is like a machete. <laughs> and for fix the axe on place, I use the same technique I use for the demonic sword. Stretch the fist, glue the toothpick, drill a hole on those three pieces and glue all the stuff together. Obviously this action figure, this toys don't come with a base and I need to make my own. And like I do in my previous video, I use a cover from a spray can for create my own miniature base. After sign the right height with a marker, I start cut off all the excess leaving only the top part of this cover and after that I start trim and refine the edge and after sand the lower part I have a perfect base for this miniature and because I need to make weird stuff I decide for no reason to include another miniature on this base but not glue the miniature on the base but only make room for place a cow space marine on the base for no reason only for display <laughs> with that I signed the edges for have an idea about the 
place I need to leave without rocks and start glue this little rock in place. In this way I make this base more interesting with spikes and rocks and also I make the entire miniature heavier and stable. After that I apply an entire layer of PVA glue. I spread with my sculpting tool the glue over all the base and I cover the entire base with sand. And after this step, this miniature kit bash custom Demon Prince toys is finally finished. <laughs> I know, I spent a lot of time building this guy and I thought it was a good idea make an entire video with the building process and another one with the painting. I really hope you enjoyed this video and maybe found something useful. And like always, if you have some question, comment down below. And if you wanna help me in this journey, like, share and subscribe is the best way for support the channel and is completely free. And now I leave you with my big bad ogre demon prince. Enjoy!